How are you? Uh, I'm great. How are you? I'm a little hungover. I'm just kidding. kidding. (laughs) That's fine. fine. Thank you so much for getting up early. Uh, I'm a huge fan of The Office and your work on the show. I'm curious. I mean, one of the great things about The Office is, you know, after Michael left, kind of the revolving door of the different bosses. And I'm curious from your perspective, uh, you know, Meredith seems to be a little easygoing. Who do you think was her favorite boss during that entire time? I'm going to say D'Angelo Vickers, uh, played by um, uh, Will Ferrell. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> that that makes sense. That checks out. <laughs> um, uh, season two is really kind of where Meredith starts to get fleshed out a bit. And, and I was kind of curious how that worked from your perspective. Were you talking to the writers? Were they asking you questions? Or was it just kind of like seeing stuff pop up in the script that like, oh, okay, the character's going this direction now? It was more like seeing stuff pop up in the script. I, um, I didn't have a lot of conversations in, uh, um, for a, a number of years, um, which was fine with me. It's it's like um, we had the best writers in TV and I, I knew it right away. So it's sort of like having Mario and Dreddy driving and then, you know, you don't want to grab the keys or tell him how to do what his job. <laughs> yeah. The car was going in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's fair. Uh, I mean, you, you mentioned you knew right away that the show was special. And that's kind of one of the things I wanted to ask because the show now is huge. It's everywhere. But a lot of people don't know that first season was a little like ratings wise. It was on the bubble. It wasn't sure if it was going to get renewed. When did you know that the show was special? And then when did you know that the show was a hit? Well, uh, we had shot um, the first season and I still was working in a restaurant in Beverly Hills. So I was nervous about the transformation, you know, just because you just don't know. And I'm older and I've had a lot of like, Woo-hoo, this is it. And then it wasn't. So, um, but I remember Greg Daniels invited me down to the editing bay when they were finishing up some of the episodes and I sat there and I, I knew it was going to be good, but it was even better than I expected. Uh, and I had known Steve Carell for years from Second City before that. Uh, and uh, I just, you know, I mean, it, it was, it was a perfect storm because of 40 year old virgin coming out during, you know, uh, right before our second season so it was just it was perfect timing it was a it was like a total slow and steady wins the race if you come out of the cannon too big you're, you're screwed <laughs> <laughs> that's fair um I, my final question for you you're running out of time uh one right. of the things the show is great with is callbacks um from the teapot to even mayor to the sun who comes back uh as right. the stripper at the end what's your favorite callback from the run of the show um, oh my gosh. I, I'm going to have to say Jakey because I, 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 that Spencer Daniels, I mean, what a crazy uh, thing to do to a young kid and then have him grow up and then become uh, Angela's uh, uh, stripper gram at her bachelor party, bachelorette party. I mean, it's crazy. It was, it's so lovely and, and wonderful. And, and I love how devoted the fans are and how much they're paying attention all the time. Did you have a heads up that that was happening or was that a surprise at the table read when you got the script? It was a surprise. I have a big (laughs) mouth, so they didn't tell me much ahead of time. Smart. (laughs) Great. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. Take care.